So gray is green arises from a very simple inspiration that there's an intersection between an uprising of the older adult demographic and the ecological challenge of crisis, of uh, loss of biodiversity, radical climate change, and... And so we came up with four dimensions along which we can create what I call portals of entry. One of them is the standard household sustainability, you know, in recycling, composting, eating low on the food chain, um, having energy efficient appliances, conserving water, growing your own food. That's still a good idea. There are still people who would like to enter through those portals. They're just now getting around to it. They've lived all their life poo-pooing it. Their kids or their grandkids are saying, how come you don't this? How come you don't that? And maybe they want to try it. We want to speak to that. So that's one, household sustainability. The second one we call community resilience because there are very real things that need to happen at community scales. We don't live in isolation. We live with zoning regulations that impact uh, waterways and wetlands. We live with um, uh, roads and highways that cater to the automobile and some areas are now starting to practice car sharing to reduce the load on the on the streets. Um, this is one of the most exciting ones for me because I'm a long-term community organizer, community advocate, I'm very active in my local community and I'm very excited about all the things that are popping up, about what you can do in cities where most people live to make them more livable, safer, greener, more beautiful, all the things that we really want where we live. So that's the second one. So that's household sustainability and community resilience. The third one raises some eyebrows because we call it Pathways to Gratitude, and it includes the traditional organized religions. All of these great religious wisdom traditions grew out of earth process itself. And it's been easy to find the ways that these religions are grounded in earth reverence and to write that up. <laughs> the fourth one is also very exciting. It's called Generative Advocacy. And the mission of Gray is Green is not to tell people what to advocate for. In generative advocacy, we're pu putting together a state-of-the-art toolkit for advocacy. <laughs> so there are a lot of different things that shape the way we think about the world. And our contention is that the way we think about the world either inspires us to be grateful for what we have or not. So we'd like to inspire gratitude as a way to enter the other ways of being good with earth.